I usually see my next guest starring alongside their comedian son Jack. Now though, Hilary and Michael Whitehall are going it alone with their new podcast, The Wittering Whitehalls. They're going to be help solving your problems and um, well, Jack wasn't really happy about this at all. Michael and Hilary Whitehall join me now. Look, he was <laughs> useful, wasn't he? initially, but you, you've left him behind now. He was a sort of stepping stone. He was, yeah. yeah. And now you, you don't really need him now, do you? No. So it's... I mean, he's not no. taking it well, obviously. No. But, but he's a big boy. He's got to stand on his own two well, feet. Well, he now. has. This yeah. is, you can't prop him up all his <laughs> life, for goodness sake. Now, you're giving advice to the nation mm. um, on this podcast. You're kind of like the wise owls with lots of experience. But what kind of problems are you getting? Is it, is it a huge range? A, a huge range. Yeah. From career advice for people's children right. to what to do with recalcitrant fathers who won't wear any clothes in the house. Oh, to, what um, do you do if your dad is wandering around naked? That's well, like... we had a sort of slightly different take on yeah. it. Michael's advice was shut the curtains. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that people can't Jump, see. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody yeah. really yeah. wants to see that. Yeah. And my advice was, um, it, it's not a hill worth dying on. If he's happy and he's in the house, just leave him be. I said, if it migrates outside, you've got a problem. You have. Yeah. But I said, if he's happy doing it, then just leave him be. I guess, you know, that's, that's, yeah. that seems sound advice. Yeah. Sound the thing advice. about the show, too, from my point of view, is that it's an opportunity for me aged 82, I think I am now. Gosh, you're looking good it's, on it, I have to see. A lot of people think I'm in my early 80s <laughs> rather than 82. <laughs> um, but um, an opportunity to give a bit of advice yes. based on 82 years of experience. But the main thing is just to give them the anecdotes of the last 82 years. Right, and there are many. And yes. there are many anecdotes. Are many. Yeah. And so I sidestep the question right. so that Hillary could give the advice because she's a very wise woman. She's a wise woman. And then I can give them a few I stories understand. of yeah. what's happened to me yes. over the Which last few years. Which might contain some advice, of course. Yeah. Yes. I guess, you know, nothing's going to shock you, is it? No. Oh, no. Very, you know, I mean, people will probably no. try and do that, you mm. know, when they get go into the question. But I was you know, a bit shocked to hear about these naked men running around their it's houses. One man, but it's, yes. it's somebody's it's father. <laughs> but it, 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 in, a, in a sense, it's a sort of bog off podcast because you can imagine that we very seldom agree. So yes. you're getting two sets of advice. Yes, that's and do you think that's somehow the key to your relationship lasting? I mean, how long have you been together now? Thirty-six years. Thirty-six married. years married. Yeah. yeah. So. How, oh, look at you. Look at you there. Get oh, look. Oh, so oh, 80s. Look at that hair and the pearls. Oh, no, yes. it's lovely. God. Yeah. But do you think because you don't agree on absolutely everything, it's actually quite good? Yeah. It sort of works for I, you, too? You know what? I think opposites attract. Yeah, yeah. I agree. You're so yeah. young, man. Yeah, I was young. When, her, <laughs> I, was when young. I met her mother, I mean, I will never forget that face. <laughs> I mean, she... Yeah. Oh. There was a journey to be made, And then say. there was a phone call subsequently between the two of them, which I overheard, and she said to her mother, but I told you that he was older than me. Yes, Mummy, no. Yes, all right, so not that old, no. <laughs> I know, I understand. It must be difficult for you both, but I promise you, everything about me was wrong. I was an agent. You I had divorced. A, I was divorced. I had an XJS Jaguar. I was so much older than her. There was nothing. There were no boxes. Ticks. No, it was all in right in the column of pros and cons. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It was all pros and cons. Oh, yeah. dear. Oh, there dear. was a sort of suggestion that one day she might get used to me, but she, she, she did. Really, she, she did. Really. <laughs> she did. You, you won around. Yeah. yeah. Surely. Yeah, yeah, you did. It's always a difficult, that one, for the fella, the mother-in-law. It's always a tough, it's always, mm. it can be a tough relationship. Yeah. She can wasn't an easy one. woman, are they? <laughs> Let's just diss my mother on that. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. She's sorry, Mummy. She wasn't an easy one. <laughs> but look, you two have become grandparents for the first time. We have. Yeah. You, this is baby Peggy. Baby you, Peggy. Oh, Peggy. Oh, what a lovely yeah. name, Peggy, Peggy, too. Look oh, at Peggy. Peggy. Isn't it great when you're grandparents? You can be oh, really silly and it doesn't yeah. matter. Oh. And it's, yeah. it's just fantastic. Yeah, in fact, we have her this weekend because Mummy and Daddy have gone to Glasgow. 
have the... Yes, and we've got Peggy, so we're going to have our own Glaster at home. Just have that, yeah. which will be great. Get, put, the, get the dance tracks on the... Put the, the 80s Peggy. music yeah. on, yeah. get your wedding dress out, just yeah. have, a, have, a, <laughs> have a blast. With Peggy. Have an absolute blast. Jack's rented some sort of bus, hasn't he? He's rented here. a party bus to get to Glaster. Party bar, <laughs> Is he, bus. I think it's normally Hendu's. Oh, right, so he's, he's actually rented a bus. And so did you not fancy that? Uh, you my be my aim is to get him into Glastonbury dressed like this at some point. Not I'll this do it. season. No, oh, no. no, no, no. Maybe next year? Yeah, mm, I think yeah. so. What do you think, Lorraine? I think so. I think you two could probably play the stage <laughs> and, and do that. I think it'd be absolutely, <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Is there a podcast stage? I think there might be. There's, oh. I think there's everything. I think yeah. there's everything. So it is called Wittering. The, the Wittering, Wittering White Halls. Wittering White, the White, Wittering White yeah. Halls. Does what it says on the tin. Exactly. We witter. Yeah. Exactly. It's so good to see you both. Thank it you. really is. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much Can for coming Can I just in. say, you always do such good frocks. I love oh, your frocks. You. I like this one. Well, we're doing lace today with Mark later on. Oh, yeah. So I thought, you know... And yesterday's was very good as well. Thank you very much. I like that. Because <laughs> you have... As we said, you're a wise woman. The Wittering Whitehalls podcast is available from Monday, packed full of sound advice and disagreeing with one another, which is fine. And no Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.